Hey everybody, welcome, Griffin Games and Comics, for comic book picks for the week of May 21st. Alright, a uh, pretty big week for DC, with Forever Evil coming to a conclusion. Uh, also got some really cool independent titles, some that I'm super excited that are finally out. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Forever Evil, DC's Forever Evil, big storyline that was expanding throughout all sorts of di different books, finally coming together um, all this week with three different books, Forever Evil number 7, Justice League number 30, and then Justice League America number 14. And it is definitely going to change up um, everything in the new 52 universe. It's going to be affected by this storyline, especially all you Batman fans and Justice League fans. Big time. Other DC book that we want to pay attention to, Batman Superman number 11. Reason being is because it's uh, continuing the Superman Doomed storyline. This is uh, the third chapter in this. And it's uh, the story about how Superman fought Doomsday. It looks like he got infected with the Doomsday virus, which is totally changing up uh, Superman and shaking up his world and really complicating things with him and Wonder Woman. But it's a fun read. You should check it out. Cool stuff with Deadpool coming out. We got Deadpool trade paperback number four out. Deadpool versus S.H.I.E.L.D. Very fun. Coulson from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has a cameo in this storyline. It's really a good read. And Deadpool Annual. Bam! Deadpool Annual's out. Which, if you're a Spider-Man fan, you're also going to love. Um, I don't want to give away too much. Deadpool is helping out his buddy Spidey by uh, assuming his costume and <laughs> fighting crime over New York. I'm sure Spidey will really appreciate it. Book coming out from Image. This is number one. This is from the guy who brought us Kick-Ass, Mark Millar. All right? Uh, and this is kind of like Kick-Ass, sort of a really realistic approach to superheroes in modern society this however is taking the um the route that there's this crazy street drug called mph that gives you super speed and super strength really unknown and it's following the story of this guy in prison who gets his hands on it looks like it's going to be an awesome read so if you're a kick-ass fan i think you're really going to enjoy this mph from the guy who brought us walking dead robert kirkman's invincible it's on issue 111 this is a huge issue I love this comic. It's uh, Kirkman's story uh, of, uh, of superheroes. And um, it's unlike any other superhero comic you're ever going to read. Super good, violent, and crazy, and there's no hold bars. This issue in particular is a great jumping on point. So if you want to read what I'm talking about here, definitely check it out. Invincible 111. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. It's a big week for a lot of you out there because many of you are fans of the epic awesome super great book done by brian k vaughn and fiona staples called saga oh it's so good finally coming out with their chapter 19 this week starting the new chapter in saga now to break it down for you if you're one of the thousands who have picked up sagas trade one and then trade two and then picked up the third one because it's such an awesome series and you can't help yourself you are in luck because this book starts off where the third trade ended. They purposefully delayed publishing Saga number 19 so everybody could catch up with the trades, which is super nice of them. Yeah, I am super pumped. I have even cracked it open because I don't want any spoilers or anything. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to be like a year or two time shift down the road from where we left off in Chapter 3 of, uh, of Brian K. Vaughan's Saga here. So again... Uh, if you haven't checked it out, you must. You must try Saga. It's probably the best series. No, I, I can't say that. It's my favorite series that's out there right now. I can say that because that's my opinion. It's very hard to describe, though. So I'm going to go with well, on the back of the book here. When two soldiers from opposite sides of a never-ending galactic war fall in love, they risk everything to bring in a fragile new life into the dangerous old world. Fantasy and science fiction are wed like never before in this sexy, subversive, ongoing epic. That's pretty good. It's got everything you want. Sci-fi, fantasy, violence, romance, insane art, um, war, peace. Oh, it's all over the place. It's definitely a saga, true to its name. I highly, 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 highly recommend this series. Let's talk about a couple events that are coming up here with Griffins real quick. We got our movie this Thursday, X-Men uh, Days of Future Past. Definitely pumped to see that. Pretty sure it's going to be awesome. We'd still have tickets available here at the Fort Collins location. Let's see what else we got coming up. Ooh, May 24th, game day for Magic the Gathering. Plus, our midnight event, that 
Friday, May 23rd Friday, for all of our uh, Warhammer 40k players. That's right, the new 7th edition rulebook's coming out. I'm definitely pumped. I'm going to be right there with you at midnight on Friday to get it. So, see you there. Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share with anybody that you think might be interested in checking out awesome, awesome comic book series. Again, thanks for watching.